Well, look, we're dealing with a person who has not only radically emboldened the prospects of bigotry in this country, the resurgent, recrudescent hate that he has articulated. And subsequently, when the real beliefs uh, emerge from Mr. Trump, we see that his vicious animus toward black people, gay people, Mexicans, Muslims, women, and the like is a kind of cornucopia of hate that has been brashly articulated by a man of manifest lack of serious coherence, chaotic intelligence, and the lack of an ability to really express himself by not only pulling upon the strands of history, but refusing to take into consideration what's going on today. So I think in one sense, if we're going to talk about what, if we're going to be honest about Donald Trump, he has not helped uh, black people. He has not enabled African-American people to move forward. He's riding an, a crest and a wave of economic prosperity put in place by his predecessor, Barack Obama. He has refused to acknowledge the centrality of police brutality and unarmed black people being assaulted by people in this country. So the reality is, is is that Donald Trump, while claiming through rhetoric to be for the blacks, what he has done is undermine the capacity of African-American people to exist in a country where it's not only about the economic facts and the wherewithal that we uh, com contend with, it is about the tone, it is about the rhetoric, it is about the atmosphere that has been unleashed here. And Donald Trump has done something very dangerous and destructive. He can't see the difference between an anti-fascist and a person who supports it. He can't see the difference between somebody who's against black people and who is for them. We are now 53 if I, if I years to the date. for a quick second. 53 um, years, let me finish this. 53 years beyond the date we'll of the voting. Time. Let me finish Candace, this. We'll go to, yeah. we'll go to the this professor and then we'll go back to you, Candace. Professor Dyson, you can finish and then we'll go right. back to Candace. Here we are, 53 years past the Voting Rights Act. We've seen the resurgence of an attempt to nullify and destroy that black vote. We've seen attempts to somehow uh, circum, you know, circumnavigate around uh, black political citizenry and agency. So all I'm saying is, if we're concerned about black people, we've got to be concerned about poverty, inequality, lack of access to education, plus the kinds of s sorts of violence that we see directed toward black right. people in this Great country. Great the go conversation. Ahead. Sorts of violence has being directed towards black people. Am I black? I'm curious if I'm black, because I'm a black conservative, and I am not hearing anything that is said about the fact that about 25 white Democrats assembled to kick me out of a restaurant yesterday to throw water and to throw eggs at me because I am a conservative that supports Donald Trump, the very Bless same you. Donald Trump, okay, the very same Donald Trump that has, not Obama, Obama did not do this, it's because President Trump has been slashing regulations and it has brought this economy to a place it has never been at, okay, we have unemployment that's an all-time low for both women, you brought up women, you brought up gays, you brought up black people, unemployment Mexicans. is at an all-time mm -hmm. low across the board. You guys refuse to acknowledge the truth that we are doing better, you want to talk about fascists, Antifa attacked me, this is an all-white gang that attacked me and attacked an all-black police force in Philadelphia, okay, and they claim to be fighting racism. How is it plausible, Professor, that you allow this to happen to your community because you've decided that because we are ideologically conservatives, you are okay with this? You're okay with the resources of, of the Democrats? First of all, I haven't said a word. I, don't, don't cut me off. I haven't you said did. a word. You just said a lot of words. A I didn't of, say a actually, word. No, no, no. Was counting, I, I said nothing about count, you. Now you're cutting I said me off, nothing okay? about you. No, no, no. no, no. So I, I find what happened to you reprehensible, by the way. I still have to keep it going. Candace, Candace, we're going to take a pause. No, no, no. I didn't get to finish. You just went on for five minutes straight. You are attacking your I'm going to let you finish, but if you're calling out my professor, I have to give him time. So, Candace, go ahead. Liberals have been attacking conservatives, and you guys say nothing about it. Blacks were attacked yesterday, okay? And they were attacked because they support Donald Trump. Black support for Donald Trump has doubled since this time last year. You guys can try to pretend that he is pushing in a racist era in this country when, in fact, we know the Democrats are the racists, have always been the racists. The party's never switched, and you should know this. As a civil rights person, you know the history. You know the people so Candace, under the hood of the KKK. Let me, let me respond. War Candace, Democrats, I'm gonna and give, the party never switched. And Candace, shame, I'm going to give the professor a chance to respond. You should defend what happened to me yesterday and defend if, our community being attacked because we support Donald Trump, because we understand that we have better okay. economic opportunities under him than we ever had in Obama. Let me, and let me shame say on you so. for I'm gonna, Obama Candace, who I'm going to give the, the professor a chance to respond. Under his administration, he allowed the bloodshed and Trump wanted to send this. the National Guard and the Democrats stopped him. I'm really so done with this. I'm done with this racist narrative. I don't, don't want to talk over Let's people, talk but we have to go Mr. back Mike, and forth. Let's talk about and the and yes. Candace, we're going to have to take a pause there. Couple things. You're, you're making a personal attack 
on the other guests, so what I have to I give them a chance with? to respond. Let me let me respond. First and of all, I, I also never have to said... say, and Professor, I'm going to go back to you. I also have to say mm. the topic of this discussion that we have tried and, and perhaps are, are failing on live television to discuss right. is Trump policy. The incident that you're referring to <clears throat> yesterday is not, is not necessarily this topic. It's a Democrat uh, policy. And so we have to Waters, gather more information. So I'm going to go to the professor. Professor, yeah, you get me, a chance me, to respond, sir. First of all, I never said anything about Ms. Owens. I never directed any animus, any particular rhetoric, any any conversation toward her. So first of all, when she say you allowed it, first of all, I'm not God. I don't control the universe or weather. I don't control the atmosphere, geology or geography. So I did not point these people toward you. I think it's reprehensible that any human being is, uh, uh, if you will, put out of a particular establishment because of her ideology. I think that that's problematic. So I did not suggest that. Number two, uh, yeah, you are black and I am black. But that doesn't mean that automatically we agree with everything. You of have course to, not. We should Let me finish. Now, now, what I'm saying to you is that when you talk about me as disrespectful, uh, the, the, here's here's what's interesting to me. Uh, you have come on here and, like Donald Trump, reduce everything to narcissistic self preoccupation and articulation you're using big of words your. Here Let me to finish. What you're saying I mean, what here. Saying right so now? now, what happens to Black America happens to you. So black people network. are reduced to what? Uh, can you, Ari? Can I finish my point? I didn't jump on her. Can I finish my point? Can I finish my point? Myself. Can I We're finish the time we had? We put aside eight minutes. Narcissism, whether black or white, is problematic. Here's my woman incapable of arguing, and therefore she articulates we will and overspeaks right people. Bless your heart, you. little girl. Living under the tyranny of a repressive fascist indifference to black life. That's why our black children must be elevated. That's why Susan Taylor must be recognized. We stand in a culture where a man gets up every day at 5.30 in the morning, excreting the feces of his moral depravity into a nation he has turned into his psychic commode.